after last season being dominated by Max Verstappen and winning 19 out of 22 races, we are looking at what might possibly become a very interesting championship. So before we start, you can already see that we have 21 drivers instead of 20, because I have the feeling that we might see some changes during the season. Let's start with number one, of course, that has to be Max Verstappen. He will probably win a lot of races this year as well. For me, number two will be Lando Norris, as McLaren have had a great improvement in 2023 and hopefully put that forward towards the 2024 season. In between, I have the feeling that Oscar Piastri might get it, just because McLaren is doing really great and he's a really great driver. Moving downwards, we will have Charles Leclerc in P4 and Lewis Hamilton in P5. P6 might surprise you, but I will explain it later. Daniel Ricciardo will be P6 in the driver standings for the season of 2024, and that's because of one reason. We've heard some rumors about Sergio Perez leaving Red Bull if he's not fast enough in the first couple of races. I have a feeling that that might happen. Daniel Ricciardo will be promoted to Red Bull Racing and the new driver, actually not that new we've seen him a couple of times last year Liam Larson will get to drive in Formula 1 but now for a few more races than just the couple that he's had so far we have Carlos Sainz in P7 in his last year for Ferrari maybe even his last year in Formula 1 but we'll get to that in another video and in P8 we have George Russell moving downwards almost getting to the bottom of the top 10 we have Nico Hülkenberg uh, and he will probably get a great season this year of course Haas will be on the back foot of the start of the season but i have a feeling that they will have a few upgrades with their new team leader and they will get some progress forwards at the halfway stage of this year alexander albon will top off the top 10 and he will probably be the reason why williams will not be lost in the championships for the teams as we move outside of the top 10 we will have valtteri bottas in p11 and sergio Perez in p12 behind him in p13 will be pierre gasly he's had a few races where he was quite fast during the 20 23 season and you might think like why that low i think that alpine will drop to the back of the grid and they will lose a lot of points because of team issues p14 will be kevin magnussen haas as i've said before will get a great jump during the season to go from back markers to the midfield and might even be competing for some podiums behind him in p15 will be yuki Tsunoda and it's toro rosso because of course we are all going to still call it that and in p16 we are will have Zhou Guanyu. He will be behind his teammate in P16 just because he doesn't have the experience yet and maybe he's not that special of a driver. But now of course in P17 you might not expect it but it's Liam Lawson. He will still get a few points as Toro Rosso will be progressing through the year as well. In P18 surprise surprise it's Fernando Alonso. Not because he's bad because he's one of the best drivers we've got on the grid today but Aston Martin have seen a downfall in 2023 and I don't expect them to turn that around in this year's season. Now, in P19, we finally have our Frenchman Esteban Ocon. He will probably get a 5-second time penalty for just being in a race. Lance Stroll will be behind him in P20. And Logan Sargent will round off the driver's standings with maximum of 2 points. Now, moving on to the teams, we of course have 10 teams that won't change during the season. That would be quite weird. The Constructors title will go once again to Red Bull racing and in second we have mclaren of course with both drives in p2 and p3 i don't think they will uh, get any lower than p2 p3 and p4 will be very close between ferrari and mercedes but this year i think that ferrari might just be a bit faster than mercedes throughout the year and that's why they are finishing p3 in the constructors title and mercedes will be p4 as we are moving to p5 we can see haas that they will get in the top five teams they will get a great jump during the summer break and probably once we get to the Dutch Grand Prix we will see them constantly fighting for points just like Williams actually they will have a great season as well not as great as Haas of course they will start a bit stronger but they might not get the upgrades that they need and they will have to wait for 2025 to get into the top five teams behind Williams will be stake F1 team and in P8 we will have Toro Rosso you might have noticed that we haven't had Alpine yet because they will finish P9 in this year's championship and last but not least we have aston martin so now we've had all the standings if you think that there are some things that i've sent that you think like what the hell that's definitely not going to be true let them know in the comments down below subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video goodbye